Now that we've uploaded our media using Pick and Play, the next step is to create a location inside of our course collection for our media to be stored. Now unfortunately, you're not able to do this inside of the Pick and Play tool. Instead, you'll need to use the Media Manager. In order to access the Media Manager, you need to come back over to the left-hand side of your course and click on the Tools link. Then, when the tool page loads, go ahead and scroll down until you find the ShareStream Media Manager and click on the link. Since this is the first time we're accessing the Media Manager, we're asked once again if we'd like to import any media from another course. Since we're not going to do this, we'll go ahead and leave the default set to No and click the Proceed button. When your Media Manager window opens, the first thing we want to do is we want to create some collections or folders where our content can be organized inside of our ShareStream course collection. And we do this by coming over to the left hand side under the library section and click one time on the name of your course and then up at the top go ahead and click on the button that says collection. A menu should appear and you should go ahead and select the top item which is add collection. We'll go ahead and give the collection a title. In this case we're going to organize our lecture 10 collection so we'll call it lecture 10. Go ahead and hit the tab key to jump down to the next field. You can go ahead and enter in your name here and then if you'd like to add a description to this collection go ahead and add it in here. Next, we can select the collection type. Since all of the types of collections that you're going to be adding to your courses are going to be related to a specific course, we'll go ahead and always select the top item, which is courses. There are a couple of other options, but they're used for other functions here at CI. We don't need to add a course ID because that's already tied directly into our collection. You do want to make sure that the active collection checkbox is selected, and we don't need to lock the order of the content at this point. With all this information entered, we'll go ahead and click the Save Collection button. We'll get a pop-up that lets us know that the collection has been successfully saved. Go ahead and click OK to dismiss that window. We're going to need to come back inside of this collection window in just a minute after we move our content into this folder. To make that a little bit easier, this time we'll come back over here to Tools so we can access Pick and Play again. But instead of clicking on Tools, on the Mac I'm going to hold down the Command key, on Windows I'd hold down the Alt key, and then click Tools. What that's going to do is it's going to open the Tools link in a new tab. You can see that up here in my browser. I'll go ahead and click on that other tab, and then scroll down, and then I can go over to ShareStream Pick and Play to launch that window. Now I have access to my ShareStream Pick and Play and to my Media Manager both at the same time by simply clicking on the two tabs. Now let's move our content into the correct location. Here inside of our course collection, if we look on the right hand side, you can see the drop down that says Show Folders. Go ahead and click on that and we should see our content collection or folder for Lecture 10. Go ahead and click one time on the Lecture 10 folder and we can see there's no content in here yet. Let's go ahead and move the content from our workspace into that folder. So first we need to select all of our content by checking the small boxes that's next to each individual piece of media. If there's any piece of media that you do not want to add, you just simply don't select that item. Once you have all of the media files selected, just come back up to the top and click the button that says Add to Course. A pop-up window should appear, allowing you to select the location or collection that you want these media files to go into. By default, it selects the main course collection, which should be the name of your course. Underneath of that, you should see each of the different collections that you've added. In this case, we'll simply select the Lecture 10 collection and then click the Done button. When the dialog box goes away, our content is being actively moved from our workspace directly into the course collection. So if we select on that tab and then click on our Lecture 10 folder, we should start to see the media inside of this location. Now you may notice that not all of the media comes over all at once. And that's because in the background, ShareStream is transcoding each and every one of these video files into the proper format so that it can stream out to your students and they can receive it on whatever device that they're working on. After a few minutes, you should notice that all of the content comes in. You may need to go ahead and click on Workspace and then click back to Course Collection and then back on the Lecture 10 folder in order to fully refresh this view. We can see that all 10 items are in here. And remember I said we should leave our Media Manager open? If you look in this list, you can see that the items are not showing up in the proper order. That's because each video file, as it's being transcoded, will come in in the order in which it's finished being transcoded. So the order may not be the exact order that you want to use. So let's go ahead and reset the order. We'll go back over to our Media Manager tab. We'll double click to go inside of our Lecture 10 collection. And now we can see all of the media that we've added. There's a variety of different ways you can order the content here. 
but the easiest way is to simply click on the title at the top of the list. And now, since we named all of our files to show up in sequential order, they're all showing up in roughly the correct location. However, this one is not. Number three is not showing up because we've got some files that have an underscore in the name and some that do not. So I'll simply right click on this item or control click on the Mac and then come up to the top and select Edit Asset. When the Edit Asset window opens, we'll go ahead and change the title to insert a space in between Lecture and 10. Then we'll go ahead and click Save Asset. Our change has been successfully made and now our items are showing up in the correct order. We can right click anywhere inside of this list and select the option for Save Order. We'll go ahead and click OK and now the order of our documents is in the correct order. And in the next movie, we'll start looking how to leverage all of this prep work we've done to distribute all of this content out to our students.